Hi yeah, uh, it's a midweek review. Oh you're up to? Hopefully you've all had a good week or half a week and a good weekend. Weather's changed. Hopefully it's a, a lot better than where you are. It is here at the moment, it's got it was only over the last couple of days and uh it's got a bit it's got a bit brighter, still a bit nippy, but it's a bit brighter. I think we ended up at the end of that hurricane. Hope everybody's all right on that. It wasn't very nice, but we ended up with a tail end of it. Good one we are, because we missed some of it, because we're on the corner. So as it comes across, it misses us. Right, which is quite good, as I say. Right, today is review. It's not a review as such. You'll probably see a lot of these about, but this is my take on I'm going to be showing you how to load one of them, which is a two-piece razor, uh, a three-piece razor, and one of them, a cutthroat. I, this has got me that, I'll show you all that. Right, the blade is a normal, oh, if I can pick it up, it's out of its packet. There it is. And with the, it's a Wilkinson Sword Classic on there. It's got two little notches on there, you've got one there and one there which is you place the blade into the centre and you get the top cap uh, it is plastic so be very careful when you um and just place it on always hold it by the sides if you can and just screw the top and that's it that's all you need to do with that it's quite simple that's one of the simplest ones that you can get it's not complicated it's not hard and then to undo it you just turn it the other way and put whatever you do oh it's in your head there you go whatever you do don't tighten it up too tight because what actually happens is because this is plastic it can snap into the uh, mechanism when you're screwing it if you screw it too tight it can either thread it or snap it and you're back. Okay, these are probably about 10 quid, not even that. Some are five or some are 15 quid. Lovely little razor though, nice little razor. Um, I've never had it open when you're shaving, I've never had it unflick itself and read about. A bit of a uh, toothbrush and some hot water. I'll get that nice and clean. Just that I don't always clean that one. Right. The second part is a three piece razor. This is, is my Edwin Jagger. And this comes in three pieces. What I mean by three pieces is you will have the handle. Well, I'll put that down there. You will have the base plate or comb. And you have the head. Now this is metal. As you can see, there's two pins there. There is no pins. In that now I do see on the net sometimes that people put these in the wrong way around I'll explain what I know about it anyway so though this you um I'm all fingers and thumbs today just put that in there like that just over the two um units there's like two notches face this comb this end unit it's got the base plate it's got the ribs there some have got ribs some have got like a comb effect on top like so and there's a slight there is a slight bend in there and then you just put that on like so and that's it there is um a slight overhang there is a slight overhang, really, really slight, and that's, I'm using, can't remember the blade I'm using. Didn't look, there you go. It's a, um, it's a feather blade, it's a feather blade I've got. That's what's in there. Some people will do that the other way, some people will do it, if you do it that way, which you put your clock it up, and you won't go to, your hairs don't go in the gap, so always make sure that this part, which is a comb, or base plate, it might be called to cover the base plate. Is that way round? There is a slight overhang, but it doesn't affect the shave at all. And then you just screw the bottom bit up. Some you twist at the bottom, but these, the three piece is usually there, yeah, and then you can shave away. 
give it a rinse out. Every time you finish it, just give it a, a wash in the hot water you're using. Give it a nice dry. And these open like so. So I've already cut. I've already chopped the or taken the razor in half. That's a half a razor. They normally come in packs if you've never used wet shaving before. So they normally come in like grease proof pack. I think what you use, as I say, what you used to use in toilets as a kid, the grease proof papers you had that, as you went to the toilets in there. Do you remember them? Oh! Um, what you... No, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. What you do with this is, I'll leave it up like there, you open this top one. If I got that right around, I have. There you go. Open that bit, and then this bit should open up like that. There's two nodules on there. There's one about there, and there's one about there. All right. What you do is you get this half of a blade, as I say, you can snap, they're quite easy to snap. Just do it in the paper, don't do it as that, because you'll take your fingers off, and you put that into the blade, like, so, into it now, and then you shut that down, mind your fingers. I'm actually doing this blind. If I could do that. This one's actually quite good. It turns quite well, actually. It fits in like that. And then you just close the uh, clasp at the back and you've got yourself your razor. I'm going to leave the blade in. Comes in a, a casing like that as well. Quite on eBay. This is quite on eBay for me. I'm going to also get the message to put some shaving cream, some aftershave and some moisturiser and see what she picks and we'll have a, a wifey shave off. We'll have a wifey shave off. Weekend, I'm, or Sunday shave sorry, I'm going to be doing one of those. Yep, Dorka. Or Dorco. Um, six blade, Moza, yes it's a disposable. I got this on eBay, and uh, sorry, on Amazon. So they were doing these, I think they were doing these for a pound. If they're still doing a deal, I'll stick it in the bottom for you. But that's it there. I quite, the thing I do like about this is the guard on it. It's quite, it's quite a thick guard. The Wilkinson's arm was flimsy. It was bruh, I fell off. But that is, no, it's all right. It's quite good. I like that. Little button at the back. Pull it up, and there you go. There's also, if you can see that, on there, there's little widgets from there with the blades. I've got no idea what they're for. I don't know if they're, um, I can't seem to pull them out or do anything with them. So I'm assuming that they stay on and you do your sideburns and manage to go with you on that. But I will investigate that more at the weekend. To put that there you it's six blades. I have noticed something with it already. Have you noticed anything? Yeah? I've also found the point is there. It's not very heavy at all. It might be another one of those ones that you throw in your suitcase or your handbag. Girls, you might be able to do it. You use your legs or your beards or whatever you've got. I don't know why they use six blows now. I have no idea. But. That's the six blade. It's quite a nice handle, actually. It's quite a, it's a rubber handle. It's a rubber handle, um, front and back. So it's got a nice, a nice grip to it. It is a nice grip, and that's rubber as well. The little button at the back is it. It's quite tough to get the blade out, which I like, which means that you're not gonna, as you're shaving, you're not gonna pull it. But I'm gonna review that on a Sunday shave. I'm gonna be reviewing it um, the same way as I reviewed the. Wilkinson sword with the non-shaving foam from L'Oreal. I'm going to use that as well, it gives you a good test. I'm going to use that and this and let's see the comparison, let's see if they both work. Um, I might even put the Wilkinson sword to the test again with these two and see what happens. See one side with this and one side with the Wilkinson and let's, let's do a comparison, let's see if it does work as they say it does. But I wasn't impressed with Wilkinson. Let's see if this will beat it. I will see you on 
a Sunday. Have a good one. Don't forget, shaving should be fun. Not a chore. Bye.